In this GIMP tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a background like this. It kind of looks like dripping paint, I guess. Not exactly, but it's the closest thing that it reminds me of. If I have time, I might show how to add this glassy text, but we'll see. So first of all, go ahead and create a new image. Then grab your blend tool and change this uh, mode to difference and then choose one of these gradients what i'm going to be using is down here it's called metallic something but you can try another one if you want and for the shape change this to conical symmetric then click and drag multiple times on your canvas maybe seven or eight times so you get these kind of crazy um overlapping random colors like this so you'll probably want to end up with something kind of like this, but yours will definitely look a little different. Then go ahead and make a new layer. And go to Filters, Render, Clouds, Solid Noise. And change for the sizes down here, change this um, so that the ratio of these two numbers is pretty much the same as the ratio of the width and height of your canvas. So for example, my canvas is 400, uh, 600 by 400 pixels, so I'm using a six and four. If your canvas is larger, you might need to use larger values, or if your canvas is smaller, you might need to use smaller values. Then go ahead and um, click randomize, so you get a random pattern right there, and then press OK. Then click on your bottom layer that has the messy colors and move it above the solid noise layer. Then go to uh, filters, map displace change both of these drop down menus to the solid noise layer which is on the bottom and then for this edge behavior uh, choose smear then you can see um, in this preview window how it's distorting our messy colors um, according to the shape of the solid noise layer so you can change these values right here to whatever you want, but if you want it to look kind of like dripping paint, like how I had my original image, so it's just distorted only in the um, vertical direction, then you will want to change this X displacement to zero so that it doesn't distort it at all in the horizontal direction. And then you probably want to increase this to like 50 to make it a little stronger. But you can see that still doesn't smear the colors enough so we want to repeat that filter again. In order to do that, we can just come to filters and see right here has repeat displace. So this will show whatever the most recent filter that you used was, in our case, this uh, displace filter. So the shortcut is just control F. So you can just um, come down here and just press, hold down control and press F. That will repeat the displace that we just did. And you can do that again, like maybe five or six times, maybe a little more, until you get these kind of smeared um, looking like dripping paint kind of colors like this. That's the uh, main gist of the effect. But if you're not quite satisfied with the colors, since they're pretty random and messy, then you can come up here to uh, Colors, Color Balance, and play with these sliders until you're a little more happy with them. I think I'm going to make mine a little more reddish. So I got some more uh, warmer colors in there. But you can do it however you want, or if you're happy with it the way it is, you can just leave it alone. Then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer, and go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and increase this radius to 20. Set that layer's mode to Screen, and lower the opacity to about 60%. Then duplicate the layer, and change the mode to Overlay. So that just kind of enhanced the colors a little bit, made it a little more saturated, a little brighter, a little more contrast, kind of a little glowy at the same time as well. Okay, then there's one more step for the background, which is optional, but if you want to do this, go ahead and do Layer, New from Visible. And all we're just going to do is smooth it out a little bit, but in order to do that, you need to have either the um, Gray Seasturation filter um, plugin installed or you need to have the GMIC plugin installed. And in one of my previous tutorials I showed how to 
install this plugin right here. So if you want to click on this annotation, um, you can watch that video and see how to install it if you don't already have it. But if you don't already have it, you can just skip this step. It's not that important. But if you do have it installed, then we're going to go ahead and choose this. And then Enhancement, Anisotropic Smoothing. And we're going to use the same settings that we had in the previous tutorial, which is 100 for the amplitude, maximum for the anisotropy, and 2 for the iterations. And this takes a minute to run. And once it's done, you can see basically all it does is it just smooths out some of the edges a little bit, which I think helps if you want it to look kind of like dripping paint, but it's not that big of a change. So like I said, this step is definitely optional. If you don't want to bother installing the plugin, it's not that important, but I think it helps. Okay, that's it for the background. So if you add the uh, glassy text, it'll look something like this. I don't think I'm going to show how to do that in this video because of uh, time constraints. But if you want to see how to do this um, glassy text, just post in the comments saying something like that. And maybe I'll make another video tutorial on how to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.